thing here. It says that Chelsea mm. have contacted PSG to open formal talks to sign Neymar. Now, I know you're a big Neymar, Neymar fanboy. I know you love the guy. I know you don't play <laughs> the two thirds of the season. But how good a deal do you think this could be for Chelsea? Or, or, or do you think... A lot of people are criticising Chelsea for looking to sign people when all they should be focused on is getting rid of them. But Neymar to Chelsea, how big a signing could this be? That'd be huge, man. Why wouldn't they want Neymar? That's what I said to you the other week when you were looking, linked to Neymar. Why wouldn't you want him? Like, any club that's offered Neymar should be snapping snapping their wrists and arms off. Like, give me him. I want him now. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much it is. Yeah, at the end of the day, straight away, you've got a proven winner. He's won a trophy every single season since he's played football. Every season. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, he's played in some of the biggest games you'll ever play in your life and in your career. Why wouldn't you want him? Yeah, a half-fit Neymar is better than every single player at Chelsea, bar none. Like, he is literally the best player at Chelsea if he walks in there. He's the best player at Man United if he walks in. He's the best player at Arsenal if he walks in there. But why wouldn't these clubs want him? Yeah, and Chelsea have got the money. Yeah, they just got to get a few more players out, balance the books up a little bit. And why wouldn't they want him? And, um, yeah, for me, that, that's a no-brainer. He's obviously going to leave by the looks of it. So why wouldn't they want him? They've got Raheem Sterling and Pulisic out on that side. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's be real with it. Like, And he can play up front as well. He can play false nine, number 10, number nine, left wing, right wing. He can play right back. He'll still be their best player. Yeah, top player. A lot of people here are saying sort of, sort of injured. Derek Kears is so injury prone, though. And? Was name me a player that's gone through their career without being injured? But two just because he's had loads of injuries, yeah. If you go and have it, actually have a look at his output, yeah, playing half the games of say, go and have a look at his output compared to well, we did it the other week with Rashford. Go and have a look at it this season compared to Sterling. Is Sterling injury prone? No, he don't get injured very often. Yeah, and go and have a look at his output. But then the excuse will be, oh, yeah, but Chelsea as a whole are a mess. It's always excuse, excuse, excuse. If Neymar is available and wants to join, you sign him. It's as simple as that. Yeah, he is easily their best player if they sign him. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether he plays 25 games a season or 65 games a season. He will be your best player. And for them, 25 games, nobody will have a better output than him, even if they played 65 games. Quality footballer. The way he glides past people is just a joke. Yeah, he can score, he can create. Yeah, he's got that X factor. Instantly, the, the right back's going to be like, oh, I'm up against Neymar today. Do you think they're doing that against Sterling and Pulisic? <laughs> Let's be real with it. They're going to do it against the 1v1 demon that Matisse once told me Hudson Adoy was. The 1v1 demon. All right, mate. Yeah, Neymar's probably the 1v1 demon because nobody wants to defend against him. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, cool. He might be out injured for half a season. And what? Uh, Josh here says apples and oranges output in a pub league versus the Premier League is different gravy, Lee. Output in a pub league? Mate, he was ripping it in Spain. He's ripped it for Brazil in international stage. What are you chatting about? Did you think before you wrote that? Real talk. Yeah, go and have a look how many goals that guy scored in his career. But then it'd be, oh yeah, but he had Messi and Suarez with him. Round and round we go with excuses. The guy's a top footballer. A top, top footballer. And to, to win as much as he's won and to play in the games that he's played in, why would you not want that experience at your football club? And then people just talk about, oh, but it costs so much money. Who cares? Is it your money? Why are people so obsessed with saving the owner's money? I don't think it's about that. It's, it's about investing correctly. Because if you overspend on players and undersell players, you run out of cash. All clubs will run out of cash because of the, the evil that you hate in FFP. So you don't want to waste money. And if you buy someone that costs you... 50, 60 million, million, almost a million pound a week in wages, but he misses two thirds of the season. You may be better off investing that those wages in three top class players that have a better fitness record because you may, over the course of a season, benefit more from it. I think there's more of that. I mean, like Mudrick, Pulisic, and Sterling. I'm not saying that, but I'm not. Those. <laughs> those nothing between all three of them for the no, same money. But I, Come I, on. I understand it. Well, Pulisic himself is injury prone. Mudrick's still young to see what happens. I get you on that. I'm not saying that all of Chelsea's business prior has been perfect, but that's not what individuals are saying. People don't want to put that much money into a player that is probably only going to start their 10, money. 15. Yeah, but it is their money. It's their club's money. They need to spend on players. Yeah, it's their club's money. It's not their money. But it, yeah, but yeah, when, the when I, see, I see Arsenal fans doing this, yeah, especially um, when you get tweets coming out. How much would you pay for How much would you pay for Caicedo? Well, you ain't paying for it. The club are. The club's owned by Stan Kroenke. Yeah, in this case, we're talking about Neymar 
and Todd Bowley owns the football club with Ed Barley. Why are people moaning about, oh, oh, it's too much money? Well, it ain't your money, mate. It ain't coming out of I, your bank I, account, I, I, is don't, it? I, I don't think that's what they're worried about. What, they're what worried about worried. his injury record. Well, no, 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 no. Sterling when, I think was on the pitch most of the season and did nothing. I think, Lee, what people are talking about when they worry about the cash is, say you've got a budget of 200 million to spend and you're after a player that's valued at 60, but you spend mm. 90 on him, that's 30 million pounds more you've eaten into your budget, which means you may not be able to get all your targets. You do that on your that. first. Yeah, so you say, say, say you've got five targets and it's got 200 million, but you overspend by 60 million on the first two. You're not, you're not going to finish a summer window. I think that's more what people refer to. There's a question here that I want to ask you. <laughs> Is Neymar, will he be better in the Premier League than Mo Salah? In what way? Because he's a miles better footballer. But will he? A lot of people think that Mo Salah is is better. You know, better injury record outputs well, of the they Premier would, League because, because they don't they don't watch Neymar and and, and they and they support Liverpool. <laughs> like, come on, tell yeah. If you're that, that's, that's like comparing night to day. Which, you, which, if you had a choice to sign either right now, who are you signing? I guarantee you say Salah based on the fact that he's better, is less injured. It's okay. The real me would say Neymar because I wouldn't Thank ever sign. You. Hang Thank on, you. let me. Let, you haven't let me do my reasoning yet. Is because I wouldn't sign a Liverpool player because I'm old school. Oh come on! If, what if is wrong with you? If he hadn't played for Liverpool, I'd pick Mo Salah. That's like me saying I would never sign Sol Campbell because he played for Tottenham. What is what is that all about? I, I'm just I'm just that's the way I am. Hmm. I don't want anything really. I don't want anyone that's been associated. Even the, if Pep was available tomorrow, I don't want him to manage Man United. <laughs> he's City. I don't want him. I'm old school. I'm old KJ, school. KJ, clip that. Clip that, bro. I've got my reason. It's not me saying he's a bad manager, but I would pick Mo Salah. Mo Salah's outputs are on par with everyone's Premier League goat in Thierry Omri, the, the consensus goat, not everybody, sorry. His injury record is better. He's cheaper, which means you're getting as much output, more availability for a third of the price, meaning you can invest elsewhere. Mo Salah, he may not be able to dribble as well. His first touch may not be as good. But overall, as a package for your team, delivery of outputs, consistency of performances, availability, and then budget to invest elsewhere on the pitch, Mo Salah is a better deal than Neymar. I'm not saying better footballer, but better deal, because this okay. isn't about buying the best chance. I said, Neymar, I said that team. Neymar's overrated before. He is massively overrated compared oh. to R9 and players Scored. like that. But I'll tell you something, yeah? Doesn't mean that he, well, he is overrated. Because the way people go on about him, it's like he's the, the greatest footballer of all time. No, he's not. Ronaldinho is better than him. And I've seen Ronaldinho. Yeah, better, than but... who? better than who? Neymar. Neymar. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the fact, that doesn't change the fact that if he goes to Chelsea, he's instantly their best player. Not only that, if people want to talk about money and wages and all of this and that, how much income would Neymar bring to that football club, whichever club signs him? Because let's be real, he's one of the most marketable footballers on the planet. But so you're right. Instantly, the Neymar effect. Look at Ronaldo. So, yeah, Messi, right. he's up there with you're, him. You're right on that. His, his fame would net off a, 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 a big proportion of his salary. And I've said to people mm. for years, part of your salary is based on your commercial uh, side of things. It often gets reported wrong by the media. You'll see someone on half a million pound a week. Sometimes like 200, 300,000 of that is image rights as opposed to just mm. Bear with me. My uh, hernia is giving me grief today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man said, yeah. so is, man said so is salaries huge in Egypt. Yeah, Neymar's huge around the whole world, mate. It, it's, 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 who's the most marketable footballer? Who brings the most income into their football clubs? Yeah, salarying in the conversation, mate. On anything you want to list. Technical ability, output, trophies. Yeah, um, man, man, uh, money coming in. Yeah, image right. Ne Neymar is clear of Salah on every single thing you can actually go through, mate. Trophies won the lot. You can't get near him. Yeah, but but he, he plays for Egypt, so he's never going to win a World Cup. He's never going to do this. Neymar's thought, is it? Let's just have a look at this, right? Let's have a little look at this, right? I'm just going to. Neymar's won a trophy every year he's played football. Listen, Neymar's brilliant. No, I'm not denying it. I'm just looking at commerciality here. Neymar, 209 million followers on Instagram, right? That's what's the most selling. What's the I'm going to get a drink. I'll be one second. Most, most seller. I mean, most seller's got a lot. He's got basically 60 million. But the difference in size, marketability, pool. Uh, yeah, listen, Salah is smaller in that regard, but I would still sign uh, Mohamed Salah. Uh, so TBT, what you're saying is Neymar's four times bigger than oh, Or oh, three oh, and a half times bigger. As a star, yeah, he is. And I'm not denying that. that that's, mm. that's not 
But I don't just sign players because they're a bigger star. I'm talking about... No, no, of course not. But at the same time, if it, if, if you sign... If, let's say Chelsea signed Mo Salah. Would the, would the global world, like the media, the fans, would Chelsea's Instagram followers and all their followers suddenly go through the roof? Would they be getting deals for, through the Bro, door sponsorship-wise? Financially, 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 as financially, much as Neymar. Financially, Neymar is a better deal for a club in terms of what you can bring in commercially. Not going to debate that, but my club has signed a number of players for commercial reasons over footballing ability, uh, footballing reasons, <laughs> and it hasn't gone so well. 